Right, so this is going to be Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon, and as well Taurus Rising. Uh, weekly general tarot reading October 5th to uh, October 11th, 2020. And uh, in case any of you guys is interested in a personal reading with me, uh, or you want to take one of my classes, all the information in regards to that you can find into the description down below. So with that being said, moving to the general reading for Taurus for that week straight away. And uh, let's see what you guys got. Right. Okay. So the first card here that pretty much represents uh, the what the week is going to be about. Uh, that is going to be the five of uh, the five of wands accompanied with uh, the uh, with the Empress card. So pretty much this week you will have to go a little bit out of your shell uh, in the sense of that there will be some kind of an opportunities or openings, should you say that way, that you don't want to miss around, but you didn't actually set up your daily routine for it. So it will be like, uh, it will require a little bit of a sense of emergency from your behalf in order to take advantage of how the dynamic plays out. Because with the five of wands here, the current of the week is going to be, if you ask me, anybody's guess and anybody can uh, pretty much excel in whichever situations they are finding yourself at, um, they are finding themselves at, I'm sorry. And it will be a shame if you do not take a pretty much advantage of the whole of the whole state that is going on around you and you do not take pretty much the upper hand in in love or in relationship you know or in career as well with the five of wands take it like that there will be sudden surprises that nobody expects and for the most part people are to be shocked of those surprising circumstances and the um how can i say the element of surprise uh it will be at a place and the longer you are shocked about the surprise, the worse the, thing are, the things are going to be for you, that is. Instead of being shocked, you should act immediately upon it. Now, as well with those couple of cards, um, it's highly likely that, how do you say it in English? Um, things are to reverse in a sense of that should you uh, should you find yourself in a very rough spot in terms of career or in terms of relationship, it's highly likely that through those surprising circumstances, you will be able to make the so, the so wished a uh, turnaround and actually take the upper hand into those situations. Uh, however, with the Empress having it in there, it will require, like said, a little bit of a seizing the momentum and it will require rearranging plans for you will find yourself not prepared for such kind of development of the circumstances moving forward. Now, the next card that we do have it is what actually holds you back. And we do have the Ace of Wands with the Nine of Cups. Hmm, so quite sort of a... Um, Quite of an interesting combo it is what we do have here and that is the constant scampering and jumping from one thing over another uh, like constantly changing interests it's very interesting that we do have a display with those two cards um, I'll try to explain it that way what you have to do in order to overcome that um, that state which actually is gonna hold back your progress uh, so usually when a person accomplishes something, they immediately start looking for another thing to accomplish without giving a second thought that whatever they have recently accomplished, they actually, that thing actually needs to be sustained, okay? So say you have recently accomplished a relationship, well, that relationship needs to be sustained instead of jumping into something different to do from now on. And exactly this change of interest, this jumping, this feeling, elusive feeling that you do have it in the back, it is what is going to hold you back. In fact, it could threaten you of losing whatever accomplishments you have recently reached. And especially with collaboration with the previous two cards, if we touch on the subject of the having yourself 
down in the dumps or with your back against the wall, it's very likely that you may decide that it's not worth it and that's to provoke you changing your interest into something new, into seemingly new gaining for enterprise. Well, that is exactly what is gonna hold you back. So you have to seek that um, points of momentum or kind of like wait for that points of momentum to undertake and fix the situation instead of leaving it behind, instead of escaping, instead of running away. Now, the next card, it is what is going to help you moving forward, and that is going to be the King of Swords with the Queen of Wands. So what we do have here is pretty clear uh, that, that this is an, an individual. It's a professional help, okay? That will be an individual who very well understands what you are dealing with. They know the uh, they know the theory. They know the uh, the uh, the matter. They do know the way. Okay, and uh, while your case is going to be very unique and very specific, which means that they will not gonna have exactly you know straight away the recipe to your. Uh, to your success, they are not going to have instantly, you know, the answer of your predicaments. They are very capable to analyze with you the situation that you are finding yourself at. And through that analysis that you both are going to uh, put in to find the solution that you need to incorporate in order to fix your relationship, you know, sustain your marriage, be lucrative into your career and etc, etc. That could, to me, that could be your physician, that could be your uh, partner in business, you know, that could be your um, financial advisor, that could be your medical doctor, and it, it does relate to a professional help that you uh, are going to have a chance to accommodate to, throughout the week, but as a, a circumstantial position, which means what helps you, you can completely disregard that individual here. With the Queen of Wands, this is a very ambitious type of guy, okay? And under guy, I mean a person. That is a person who very well understands how things work. That is a person who very well understands how you function as well and what your goal is and how you how much you do want to, to, to move forward. So they will align themselves completely, you know, with... Uh, with your experiences, if we may say it that way. And this time around, they are going to work for you. The only downside that those two cards are having is that further down the road in the future, it's very possible that they will ask you for a favor, which is not going to be a big deal as the cards are falling within this position. So to me, just to conclude all that here before we jump into the end of the week, it is that... <clears throat> As you do have your openings here to improve your circumstances, you may not exactly know how to do it so, but with the help of this individual who is very professional once again and analytic, together you will be able to uh, incorporate the true solution that will help you, or rather like will give you the, uh, the unfoldment that you are going for either in term of career or either in term of a relationship. And the last one here, it is how the week uh, truly is gonna end for you. We do have the three of swords with the 10 of swords. And that is very interesting as well. It's very difficult uh, reading Taurus uh, in your, um, uh, for you. Truth be told, this is the, I don't know which time I'm making this reading and it's always so difficult to do it okay so uh, it's just it's all over the place right so with the three of swords and the ten of swords these two cards speaks about the necessity to go drastic the necessity to really go brute if we may say it that way um <clears throat> as as it is likely that like said you from which you're back against the wall you are to excel with the help of the king of swords with those two cards at the end of the week you will not gonna want to uh find yourself in the same kind of a situation moving further into the future and with this person's help you are going to know at the end of the week what exactly placed you in such kind of a situation and from there determine this thing never to happen again you are to to make the necessary moves uh, to pretty much negate 
a future influence or what, of whatever um, causes you had that placed you back again, with your back against the wall at the first place. So here it is the, um, how can I say it, the overwhelming drive of your behalf never to find yourself in a weak spot ever again, career-wise or relationship-wise, it does not really matter. It's all about the, uh, the acceptance that sometimes uncomfortable actions need to be taken for the greater good of yourself and of your life, for the greater good of your relationship or for the greater good of your career as well. Life is with constant ups and downs and here we are having you determined to face the ups and downs with much more consistency than before. So that being said, Taurus, uh, this was your weekly general tarot reading. It's, it's pretty general if you ask me, but that's what general readings are all about. Uh, so hopefully that relates to your situation and uh, hopefully you do like the reading as well. And with that being said, hopefully we're going to see each other next time. Till then, bye.